And a keep. Okay, great. All of them go into the keep. <laughs> We're done! It's all a keep. Spectacular. Let's have more wine. <laughs> I grew up in a household where decluttering was just a regular part of our life. Spring cleaning was like spring cleaning, fall cleaning, winter cleaning, summer cleaning. Like we had a clean household. My mom loved to donate stuff, you know? If it wasn't in use for, yep. for a few months, it was out of rotation. Uh -huh. And whilst sometimes growing up, I found that very annoying, particularly when I was like, where are my sandals? And mom's like, you aren't wearing them, sorry. <laughs> But now I really appreciate it because I'm somebody who's very much in the habit of being organized and clean and decluttering and getting rid of things when I don't use them and I don't have as much of like a sentimental value or attachment placed on physical belongings, which is something that I really appreciate. I definitely struggle with it more than my mom does. My mom's like the queen of getting rid of things, but I would say I'm pretty damn good. Um, and you guys know I've cleaned out my closet many times. Uh, but recently, my friend's husband employed me to help her clean out her closet because that's something that wasn't a routine for her and she had not cleaned out her closet in over a decade. Uh, despite the fact that she has moved many cities and countries, she has lugged all of her high school clothes with her and then just keeps adding to the closet. And her husband was like, Molly? you need to come help. And uh, I'm not gonna pretend it wasn't a challenging process. It was for her and that's okay, everybody's different. We dealt with it with wine and humor um, and I think she feels a lot better now but it was definitely something that was difficult for her and I completely understand because she hadn't done that before and so she was placing a lot of like memories and sentimental value on things and I kept reminding her like, will the memory go if you do not have this t-shirt that you wore anymore? And she was like, no. And I'm like, exactly. So if you're not wearing the t-shirt, we don't need it, we still have the memory. And so um, I know that whilst things like decluttering are easy for some people, they're much more challenging for others, but it's such an important thing. It's so cathartic to like release and get rid of those things. And you just feel so much more fresh. Like out with the old and with the new, it's like you can declutter your brain at the same time. Um, so I want this video to encourage all of you, if you struggle a little bit more like my friend Lisa, you're not alone. Um, and you know what I kept reminding her? Because she loves to add to the closet. I kept reminding her when she declutters, she has more space to add to. And also, she'll know what she actually needs because you can really take an inventory of what you have that you actually wear and where the gaps are in your closet. And if you're looking to fill those gaps or you're looking to get rid of clothes but maybe make a little bit of money, I think ThreadUp, the sponsor of today's video, is definitely the place for you. ThreadUp is the world's largest online thrift store. They have over 40,000 brands that you know and love, and they add new products every single day. Shopping on ThreadUp is more sustainable for your wallet and more sustainable for the planet. And girl, you can get some cute freaking finds. I'm so obsessed with this dress. It's giving that like sporty dress vibe that's been really popular the past few summers. I love it and LA I can wear this like any time of year which is great with like a pair of white sneakers just like running errands. So cute. It's this open opening ceremony dress which is a really pricey brand but I got this for a great deal. I'll have all of the estimated retail prices and threader prices listed on screen in the description box below but it's just this black stretchy fabric but very thick. Like she feels like she's snatching me in. I love the little keyhole detail on the chest and then the ribboning detail around the waistline and it's tactile. It's like rubber material so I can actually feel the writing. This is so freaking cute. Let me show you the next thing I got. I have two more things that I'm like absolutely obsessed with. Okay, this is so freaking cozy. It's this giant striped sweater dress. It's so cozy, like this in the winter with black leggings, black boots, maybe like, I don't know, a puffer jacket over it, like so freaking snuggly. I can't wait to just sit by the fire with a cup of tea listening to an audiobook in this sweater dress. And this is from Aritzia, it's Wilford Free, the brand. And you can't just look up Aritzia. You've gotta like look up all the different brands that Aritzia sells, but looking up Aritzia brands is one of my favorites because their, their items are so high quality. Like even if you buy them retail, they really stand the test of time, wash after wash. So you can get items that are practically brand new. And I really recommend saving your sizes, using the search feature, 
and you can actually now shop favorites. So I favorite all the items that I'm thinking about getting and you can actually now go use the link down below and shop my favorites and other creators favorites. You can share your favorites, which I think is such a fun, cool feature. And you will see I have lots of things from different Aritzia brands in there. And you can also check online, like they list what condition it's in. So I personally try to buy things that are either new with tags or in excellent condition, which is like they don't have tags, but they're basically brand new. And then very good, which is they're not like brand new looking, but they have the most minor signs of wear. So those are the categories I try to stick with. Let me show you the next piece, which is also Aritzia that I'm so obsessed with. Okay, I've tried on and owned enough of these TNA sweats to know that this has like not even been washed. This has probably never been worn. There is no tag on it. It was listed as excellent condition. It is, this is brand new, I swear. And I'm obsessed with red. Like I, I love red so much. I feel like red is a color that really suits me. It definitely is in my dark winter color palette, but I don't own much red. And we're literally always saying, I should own more red. Don't we say that all the time? All the time. And so when I found this like cropped quarter zip, like around Christmas time or Valentine's day, I just think this is gonna be so cute. We all know I love a jumpsuit moment. I love a head to toe, throw one thing on, good to go out the door. And this is just that. This is from Show Me Your Moo Moo. It's pastel pink, also we all know I love that. And then it has blue flowers all over it. This kind of neckline is just one of my favorites always. I love a high neck that kind of cuts in and then an open back. And then with the flowy loose pants, like. Everything about this is just very my vibe. Finally, I got these pants that are by Maeve by Anthropology, and they are really comfy. They're just very me. They're very relaxed. They're very flowy. You could wear them really any season. Like in the winter, if you wanted to wear them, you could throw leggings under them. In the summer, they're just nice and comfortable and breezy. They're like these black pants with these peachy colored, what would you call them, Neve? Um, Geometric designs. And then they have like a different panel down the side, which I really like. I love mixing patterns, so big fan of that. I love mixing patterns, so a big fan of that. And I feel like just a black top of any kind would work as a, as a top to make a full look. So you can look into decluttering your closet and selling some items to thread up or purchasing some new ones on ThreadUp as we move into fall. Maybe you need to spruce up your closet, get a few new pieces, check ThreadUp, and you can use code MOLLY40 for an additional 40% off the already discounted prices that you're getting. And now let's get to cleaning Lisa's closet. So I have friends named Lisa and Vince, and I met them a couple of years ago. They're the most fabulous couple. I love and adore them both. And I met them a few years ago when Lisa and Vince were swimming in a pool that I was swimming in. And whenever I get into a pool and I know there's people in it, I'm just like, hey, just so you know, I'm blind, I can't see you, so you're gonna have to avoid me. I am incapable of avoiding you. And so I did that and she was like, actually, I know you. And uh, she has been following me ever since I did my video way back when with Casey and I sat like six years ago now, crazy it's been that long. And we ended up swimming in that pool, treading water for like an hour talking until the pool closed. We exchanged numbers and ever since she's been one of my best friends, we're super tight. And one of many things that Lisa and I bond over is our love of fashion. We're pretty much the same size. We love all the same clothes, the same stores. And I mean, basically Lisa and I are the same person, right? Yes. Like every time Lisa and I are Very together, much. Vince is like, oh my God, it's like there's two of them. Um, but they're like the ideal double date couple for my boyfriend and I because all four of us like get on with each other as well as with, you know what I mean? You know when you meet those double dating couples? It's perfection. They work in the industry, just like my boyfriend and I do. And it's like, it's all perfect. Love and adore them. Lisa had her first baby back in January. She is starting a new job in a week and she's going through a lot of transition in her life. Vince and her keep joking that she needs a closet clean out. And I was like, girl, I am the friend to do such a task with. Vince has been like begging me. He's like, Molly, come, come, come any day you want. Come clean the closet out. And Lisa's like, <laughs> and I'm like, look, you're going through lots of transition, lots of change, lots of this stress in your life. This is the perfect time for a closet clean out. Declutter your life, declutter, declutter your brain. Lots of new, new life circumstances. Great time 
for a new wardrobe to reflect your new chapter in life. And she is somebody who, as she has told me, has been hoarding clothes since high school. She is 28, like we cannot do this anymore. And uh, she loves to buy clothes, but doesn't love to get rid of them. So the closet keeps expanding and it's time for change. Now she keeps saying like, Molly, can't we just do a shopping spree instead of cleaning my closet out? And I was like, no, Lisa, the reward for cleaning the closet out is the shopping spree. And what's even better about the shopping spree is you'll actually know what you need. Doing a closet clean out is the perfect time for also doing like a, a closet checklist. Just taking note of everything you do and don't have and where the gaps are so that you know what to actually fill when you go shopping. My closet's in a pretty good position. That said, I have actually been kind of trying to declutter a few things just the past few days. I'm like, as I open the closet, I'm like, hmm, pluck that out, haven't worn that in a while, don't need that no more. That's not my style anymore. I'm actually gonna bring a few things over to Lisa because I think she might like them. Like this is super cute and Lisa wears stretchy, comfy mom jumpsuits all the time. It's and perfect. I, it's so perfect for her and I think it'll fit her perfectly and it'll look super cute on hers. So I'm gonna bring this over. Vince is gonna be like, Molly, are you kidding me? You're bringing her clothes when I'm hiring you here to take clothes out of the closet? But who knows, maybe I'll end up with some things, Neve. Maybe. I'm gonna be like, Lisa, you definitely need to get rid of this. It's totally out of style. And so am I. Shove it in my tote bag. Um, anyways, we're just having like a girly night. We're gonna drink wine. I'm bringing over a bottle of rosé. Vince is being like partner of the year and cooking beautiful dinner for us. He's such a good cook. He's always cooking up delicious goodies whenever I go over. So let's go declutter my friend's closet. All right, I finally coaxed Lisa up to the bedroom where the closet is behind me. We've got rosé in hand, a nice little uh, mason jar of rosé. We've got a breast pump pumping. <laughs> oh my god, I'm so <laughs> We've got your local cow. So funny. And I'm like, Lisa, you can firmly plant yourself on the bed. I'm gonna do all the heavy lifting. I was like, we need a garbage bag. She spiraled at that point. I was like, we're donating it, don't worry. She's like, why a garbage bag? So. It's like a reusable grocery bag. <laughs> what we're gonna do, Lisa, is there's gonna be a donate, a maybe, and a keep. Okay, great, all of them go into the keep. <laughs> We're done! It's all a keep. Spectacular. Let's have more wine. <laughs> We're doing this. I'm promising you, you're gonna feel so much better when this is done, okay? Okay. Oh, Elton! Elton! That was not very helpful, guy, don't me. He's like laying right in front of me. He's like, Mom, Lisa's clothes. He's protecting your clothes. Yeah! You're protecting Lisa's clothes? He's okay. my ally. So we're gonna push the doors. All the way this way. Beautiful. There's a breast pump right there. We love it. Shout out to the willow. Look at the <laughs> chaos. Okay. It's, it's at least some of it's folded. <laughs> I'm ready. I, where, do, where do you want me to begin? Okay, okay. The stuff that will go first is to the um, right, I guess we should get yeah, to the right. right so you can also move the other door. Oh, there's another Yeah, door. the oh, two wow. doors, yes. Oh, well that is convenient. Okay, I like yeah. that. Yeah, if you move it all the way down, you can expose my whole half. <gasps> okay. Wow, yes. There this it is. is the beginnings of what we're working with. <laughs> it's gonna be way more beautiful at the end. Okay, we're gonna power this, okay? We're gonna power through because this stuff takes hours. Okay, 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 oh, that's a hanger. Okay, TLDR. The bottom is sweatshirts, the top is like dresses and thing like- And sweatshirts. Some sweatshirts that I wear often. I wear more things on the top than I do at the bottom, let's okay, just say that. so let's start at the bottom then. Okay, okay. Let's it's begin. like a lot of sweatshirts. In fact, can you even have enough sweatshirts? Okay, that I that's my labor and delivery dress, okay? It's a relic. I gave birth in it. You gave birth in this? Yeah. Aww. Yeah, you can't get rid of it. You Cassie can't tell came a sob story for every item. Listen, this one has to stay. No, this one can stay. If it's, are you a sentimental girly? Of course yeah. you are. You have stuff from high school. Yeah, yeah. I'm a big sentimental girly. What? Like sentimental people are the hardest to clean for. Okay. Yeah. I have a hoarding problem. Listen, it's listen. Chaos. There's just too many sweatshirts. I will admit there are too many sweatshirts. You can't have enough sweatshirts, but apparently you can. <laughs> I'm so sorry. So like holding it up with my leg. Just um, just let it fall. Let her down gently. Okay. Also, a labor and delivery dress, but I I had. I, How many dresses? Listen, did you I had two. I had one in the beginning and one for the second half. You know, you sleeves because it was cold in the beginning, second half. You know. They yeah. are cute. Are these made for? Yeah, TikTok. TikTok girly really made them. Do you know what I'm talking about? I remember seeing her do a thing, and she was like, showing. Oh, them. um, trying to get Megan Trainer. 
Yeah. 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 They're really soft. I'll give yeah, you that. They're so and soft. And a small business. Support small business. Yeah, support small business. Okay, okay, okay. Hear me out. This is from Urban Outfitters. It has a massive hole in the back. Like, it's supposed to be an Donate. exposed back and it's sheer. And um, once upon a time, I would look really good in it. It does need to be donated, but it is kind of, it could be styled well. I just don't. Okay. Donate. I just don't. Okay, These wait. we can keep because we're going to alter them. Okay. This and the sweater, donate. <laughs> Okay. 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 If you really want, you can have a cell pile. Yeah, but who's going to buy this? <laughs> who's exactly. going to buy my cheap clothes? Exactly. Okay, cute Christmas dress. Wear it every year. Okay. Keep. Keep. Okay. Aritzia dress that I bought while I was pregnant that I haven't worn yet as a non-pregnant lady, but I think it will be cute, so keep. It's got like a cutout in the middle. I don't know. It's cute. Does it's it new. still fit you? Yeah, it's small. Also cute cocktail dress. Wear it in the summer. Trust me. Trust me. We're not at the ones yet that we don't like. Okay. I wore this to my junior prom. <laughs> That's all I needed to Listen, hear. Listen, but the back is like sheer and it's giving very like peplum top. You know what I'm talking about? Like 2015. Yeah, and it's outdated. Okay, bye. It's giving blue. It's giving high school. It's giving I'm 15. Put it in the donate pile before I cry. <laughs> okay, jean jacket. I wear it all the time. Yes, yeah, it's from Forever it. 21. It needs to stay. Denim jackets are a staple. <laughs> okay, Aritzia blazer I wear all the time. Disney sweatshirt that I wear all the time. Keep. How do you wear everything? No, but you're taking out things that I wear. Okay, okay. This is my Cranford field hockey sweatshirt. No, no I did not play field hockey. I stole it. But I went to high school this at is this. This really old. I went to, yeah, no, I went to high is, school. Do you okay. wear this ever? It's like a relic, you know, like your high school sweatshirt. It says your school on it and a sport you never played because you stole it from some guy in high school, you know? No? Oh, okay. Donate. Oh my God, I can like to. sell it like on you want to sell that on Poshmark? Yeah. To who? I don't know. This is the sweatshirt. This is my ultimate frisbee team sweatshirt. Uh, yes, I played ultimate frisbee in high school. Okay. It says my name on it. Okay. It's stained with makeup. Another Lisa will love it. This is so old. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what this is, is a Firefly Festival sweatshirt that I didn't even go to, my cousin gave it to me, thank you. Okay, this is a crew sweatshirt I wear all the time. It's a, Sp it's a SpongeBob movie crew sweatshirt. Here, I'm giving you one, the next one we can get rid of, I promise. It's well, also a high school them. sweatshirt. It's ripped, but you, you have know. so many sweaters and I can promise you don't wear all of them. But I do like circulate through some, I promise, I promise. Your, the amount of sweaters you have, girl, is absurd. But wait, 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 wait. We have to preface here. All I wear is the leisure wear and sweatshirts. Like all my nice clothes are reserved for like sometimes, so. This is the hardest part, trust. Maybe pile, maybe pile. I think I could get rid of it, but I just need to think, I just need to like get down with it. Okay. It's like an H&M sweater. No. <laughs> this is all I needed to say. Okay, fine. Like, you know what? Like, oh my God, I'm so sad about this. I've held this sweater for like 12 years. Oh my God, even more reason. You're only convincing me more to it's get rid of cute. it. It's cute. I want you to know that I have the style this of a 15 year old girl. I don't have any good, like if you think I have good quality stuff, I need you to know. No, you do, you, like you have good taste, you love like Aritzia and stuff, that's the point. Oh, oh, that's new, that's new though, it doesn't count. Okay, it's a Hollister like white top. This is giving me PTSD from going to private. <laughs> even though sometimes I like wanna put that on with like a cute, no, I can't even describe the style, it's not cute anymore. Okay, this is a cashmere turtleneck. There's a hole in it. Yeah, I know, but it was so expensive. It fits, but it does make my head look um, like abnormal, like abnormous. Is that a word? Abnormous. Enormous, abnormous. Abnormally large. It abnormous. makes my head look enormous because if you get rid of my neck, it's just a square left. <laughs> I do love a turtleneck. Okay, this is new. This is a sweatshirt from Disney. It's like a 50th sweatshirt. Amazing. Okay, I have a lot of Disney stuff, like Disney merch. And okay, listen, this is dis disastrous. Yeah. I'm embarrassed by it, but this, holy God. I've been wearing it for like 10 years because I don't want to buy the Aritzia leather jacket. Think of how good it's going to feel now that it's gone and all of this is out of your closet and you get to treat yourself this fall to a beautiful new faux leather jacket. Okay, okay. It's going to feel spectacular. Every time, every time you put it on, it's going to be spectacular. Oh my goodness, it's so bad. That was embarrassing. It's pretty soft. It's brand new. It's from Target. <laughs> it's ugly as hell though. Okay, so you're never going to wear it. It's ugly as um, hell means when I mean, okay, with it, the amount of clothes in your closet, yeah. you're never reaching for this mm, in because the, you just said it's ugly. 
I, I, no, I do wear this sometimes. Maybe put that in the maybe pile because I like mix it with things. Like, cause it's white. I mean, and I hide this dry. Okay, it's ugly. Okay, listen, this has, this can go. It's a red and black plaid shirt from high school. Okay. Like, Same. I can't imagine you wearing a flannel. Um, anyway. I was a scene kid. So, so was I. Okay, here, so I there it is. There it is. Yeah, <laughs> that can go. Seen the scene kid to a Ritzia arc? <laughs> it's crazy. <laughs> the, okay, this is a Converse white button up shirt and Converse? it can go. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know where it came they from. Probably my parents bought it for me in high school. When you were a scene kid. Yeah. Yeah, this is my scene kid jacket. It, it's giving ke my chemical romance. Don't you love my chemical romance? We can get rid of it. Thank you. Thank you. Can, it was really worn out. Yeah, it can go. It was like a black skater girl dress. No. I want you to know once I wore these. No. This... I've got no style now. <laughs> I think you can do so much better than this. And you know you can do so much better than this. I think this. you're right. There's nothing like inherently like it's not like it's like wow that's ugly it's not it's fine it's just been overworn true and it's very youthful mm -hmm. and you can just do better i mean like if i wanted to be 17 forever i could keep it right like you here's the thing with it there's nothing wrong with it but there's also nothing right with it true right so like that's that's actually the theme of my whole closet <laughs> <laughs> i'm proud of you you're doing really well and you know what's gonna be really fun after this? What? Seeing how much space you have for new stuff. Oh and gosh. also, even more than that, having it be organized. Yeah. Like all color coordinated and sectioned. Okay. That's okay. what's fun when you pull everything out, you get to put it back in, and you get to have like nice color coordinated. Like half the same stuff. Yes. I immediately know when something's a Ritzia onesie. I own this. Oh, that hanger's missing a thing. Before you take that out, those are sleep t shirts. I have 2.5 million sleep t shirts. No exaggeration. You're allowed to keep. Seven of them. No! <laughs> I can keep seven. One for every night. I can of the week. look at seven of them right there. I okay, 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 look. You we are can... not sleeping <laughs> this many times without washing your clothes. You don't need this. But wait, but wait, there are some that are like vintage. Okay, just take them out and we'll just go through them one by one. But listen, like, it's gonna be really hard to let go of some of these. That's all I'm gonna say, and I'm gonna do my very best. <laughs> I wore that last night. It's perfect. <laughs> It has Pluto on the front of it. Listen, I don't, let me preface. I have no cute PJ sets. I've got like two pairs. Well, I know what I'm getting you for Christmas this year. PJ sets? Getting you cute PJ sets. Okay, this is a film t-shirt from the studio I worked at. Like with films I've worked on, I don't really wear it, but it's got films that I did like from 2018. Worth it or no? No. I just got this from my school. It's ugly, but I can't, I just got it like a week ago. Did you pay for it? No, but like... I don't get I don't get free stuff all the time, Molly. <laughs> That's the first time. You're like, I just spent twenty five dollars, fine. But you didn't. Okay, black t shirt, wear it all the time. Vintage Disney t shirt, I wear it to Disney all the time. Okay, that's cute. Yeah. We're allowed to keep vintage Disney tees. Okay. Okay, so Vince came in here and started taking stuff out of the get rid of pile. He was like, Why are you getting rid of this? Vince, that was not helpful. <laughs> I told Vince his valuable val get rid of it. His valuable role in all of this is that immediately he needs to take the garbage bag and put it in his trunk of the car because if it's kept in this house, I know she is going to root through and pull things out. No, we That's don't need to live like that. Music festival. Don't mess with you don't even Stop care about that festival. <laughs> Look at what Lisa is getting rid of. I am so proud of you. I'm so proud of you. <laughs> I'm so sad. You may keep the items I brought for you. Okay, thank you. <laughs> and I will go shopping with you and we'll have so much fun. It's your reward, it's your treat. I can't wait to go shopping. Now that we've gotten rid of all of this stuff that I promise you won't even miss, you will never think of again, we are gonna create a new organizational system for this closet so it's functional and it makes sense and it makes your life easier okay. every single day when you get dressed. <laughs> okay. That's my specialty because blind girls need to be hella organized, so. Well, this is why you're here and this is why I have a pile of clothing that I couldn't let go of. This is all the keeps, which is a lot of keeps. So it, you're still gonna have plenty to wear. All right, well, we were cleaning, Vince was cooking, and he cooked us a feast. What the heck, Vince? <laughs> this is so much food. Why did you do this while we were cleaning? <laughs> there's like potato, and there's veggies, and there's multiple forms of meat. Elton John, it is 11 p.m. You're awfully sleepy. We had delicious dinner and look at all of that. Shoes and clothes. And 
And the best part. Ta-da, look at that. We are organized, we are clean, we've got empty space, we have got empty hangers aplenty. Like this is good stuff. I feel very proud. How do you feel? I feel empty. No, I'm just kidding. I feel good. <laughs> look at this. Look at this. Okay. I feel like there's nothing in there. Got the like organized drawers. Like it's all clean. Oh my gosh. I'm excited. Let's Yay. go shop. I really enjoyed helping Lisa clean out her closet. Like I love cleaning out. It just feels good, but I've done it so much that I don't have anything to clean out right now So I kind of got my like fix, you know, it's very satisfying and just seeing the before and after of The way her closet looked her husband Vince was like so elated. He was so proud of her, which was really cute um, And she was just feeling so good afterwards. She was like, oh my god, I can't believe I did it I did that and I was like you did it girl So again, I hope this serves as a little inspiration for you as you're flipping your summer wardrobe out and you're moving into your fall closet maybe think are there some pieces in here as you're pulling out those fall clothes that it's just like time to retire freshen things up i'll let that marinate i'll let that sit in your brain a little thought anyways i want to thank fred up once again for sponsoring this video and once again you can use code molly40 to get an additional 40 percent off and using the link below you can shop my favorites as well as all the other goodies that they have on the website so check that out and until next time you can click over here to watch this video about a blind gamer who taught me how to game or you can click over here to see this other video that I recently posted about the one year anniversary of having to say goodbye to my guy, Doug Ben, and welcome Elton John into the family.